finally, after weeks of playing GTA 5, I can finally do some Honkai Star Reel. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'll be reacting to the um, the two Keeping Up With Star Reel videos that um, Oyoverse has uploaded on their Honkai Star Reel channel. One is Luo Cha, while the other one is Yu Kong. So I'll be reacting to Luo Cha's one first, and then um, we'll be checking out um, Yu Kong later on. Alright, so let's start things off by checking out um, Luo Cha's Keeping Up With Star Reel video. Let's do this. Oh, oh wait, I need to turn on the... I need to turn this on. Alright, let's do this. As long as you're not looking for the secret of immortality, the generous people of the Sienjo Alliance will welcome you with open arms. To Sienjo locals, visitors from other worlds are known as outworlders. Mm -hmm. As a traveling interstellar merchant, Lodja fits the bill. Lodge He's a well-mannered individual with mm -hmm. medical know-how. Although that giant coffin he carries around is a bit of a distraction. <laughs> yeah, I see, I have no idea you what's know, inside the, the coffin. The more I look at this guy, the more Even though I've really done the, the companion mission. Our production team has invited a local Sienjo citizen, Mesli, for a special oh, interview Mesli. about this mysterious enigmatic character. Hi guys, you can just call me Sushan. So, Sushan, I heard you met Laucha during a stick-up. The classic yes. story, oblivious tourist with conspicuous luggage, the perfect target for a bandit, right? Mm -hmm. Luckily, I was there to help him out. You know, I hear Lao Cha himself also played a key role in resolving the incident. Check this out. Lao Cha I is an imaginary guess. type character following the path of abundance. He's an yes. elegant sword master and practitioner of a mysterious healing art, skilled in both the giving and taking of life. Impressive, huh? Lao Cha's basic wow. attack, Thorns she of the Abyss, the does imaginary age. damage to a single target. Consume a skill point to use Prayer of Abyss Flower, mm -hmm. which restores a set amount of HP to a single ally based on Lacha's attack, ah, as well as granting so Lacha one stack on of Abyss Flower. Okay. When the HP of any ally falls below a certain percentage, Lacha will apply an effect equivalent of a skill without consuming any skill points. Damn! This will be triggered again after a set number of turns. So what's that Abyss Flower thing for? When the Abyss Flower reaches two stacks, mm -hmm. Lao Cha can consume all the stacks to deploy a field against the enemy. Okay. When any enemy in the field is attacked by an ally, the ally recovers a certain amount of HP based on Lao Cha's attack. The field effect lasts uh, for a again, set number of turns. After effect. unlocking a special trace, using Lao Cha's skill will dispel one debuff from an ally. Oh. Uh. The same um, effect as um, using Lodge's <coughs> ultimate March death and would dispel one Natasha. from all enemies, deal imaginary damage well, to all trace. enemies, and ground Lodge one stack skill. of abyss flower. Um, it dis so dispels uh, it debuffs We're one of your allies. Evil. Why would anyone want to steal that? No, I think it's safe to say they realize their mistake in the moment. During exploration, when Lacha uses his technique, Mercy of a Fool, Lao Cha's talent will be immediately triggered at the start of the next battle. Oh. After unlocking a special trace, when any enemy in the field is attacked by an ally, all allies except for the attacking ally recover a set amount of HP based on Lacha's attack. Incredible! Miss Yushan, mm -hmm. we invited you okay. on the show to help introduce Lao Cha, but it feels more like you're auditioning as my sidekick. <laughs> I just never knew Locha was so awesome. Uh, let's circle back to the bandits. As a traveling merchant, a Locha of fact, uh, is I no not, stranger to dealing with thieves to on the day, road. I, I do not when have faced with shame. numerous adversaries, Locha doesn't show the slightest bit of hesitation. In the heat of battle, when an ally's HP is reduced the to the a certain percentage, Locha's skill is triggered. And this time, it doesn't consume any skill points. At this point, Lao Cha uses his ultimate, dealing damage to all enemies and gaining one stack of Abyss Flower. Together, with the stack gain through using his skill, it looks like he has enough to deploy the field. Oh, with that field in play, allies recover a set amount of HP whenever they make an attack. Meanwhile, the onslaught overwhelms the enemies, forcing them into submission. 
Those bandits really came out of nowhere. Must have been scary. It's a good thing my quick reflexes saved Lorcha from certain death in the nick of time. Close call, huh? <laughs> wow, your studio's so cool. There's show business like no business. It's no business like show business. <laughs> Isn't that what I said? No. Uh, again, well, that's a cute face. Yeah, I'm enjoy to be very honest, I, I kind of enjoy this, um, this keeping you up with strawberry video more than the, the trailers, to be very honest. At least in that sense, right, this video, it shows us how, um, an in-depth on how the character works, which is, which is cool, and they, and I kind of like it that the fact that they try to make it as interesting as um, possible. So long story short, right? Yeah, Lucha is kind of an interesting um, character to say the least. And I did not know that his healing is based on attack, because um, Bailu's um, healing, I believe Bailu and Natasha's um, healing skill is based on HP. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm kind of surprised that Lucha's um, healing skill is based on his attack. Which means, right, those, um, those relics, the, um, I forgot what's the name of the, uh, the elic that provides, um, outgoing healing. So, at the very least, right, um, if you get an outgoing healing, um, a relic that has an attack percent in it, at least you, you feel, it doesn't feel wasted. You can equip it onto, um, Luocha, because Luocha's, um, Healing scale is um, based on attack, so I won't be surprised. Like, there's a um, character that's based on uh, there's a healing character that's uh, that has a healing scale based on defend percent. I won't be surprised, but whether Hoyaverse will release really such character or not, only time will tell. Now that I've checked out Luocha's I'm um, keeping up with Starry Radio, let's check out Yukong Swan instead. The Skyframe Commission is in charge of all matters relating to flight, from the Air Force and Commerce all the way down to traffic management. Mm -hmm. The head of the commission, Yukong, is a foxy with lightning fast reflexes that serve her well in aerial combat. They say in younger Damn. days, she was a free spirit. Soaring through the Sienjo like the wind is Damn, Jeez Boss! But her focus has shifted onto official duties. Her fiery temperament has burned to a slow ember. But the Sienjo skies will never forget how she ran six red lights in a row to transport a seriously ill patient to safety. Okay. Yukon is an imaginary type fighter, following the path of harmony. She may have long Bobby. since left the oh, battlefield, shit, a but her commanding presence remains. Yukon's basic attack. Arrow Slinger deals imaginary damage to a single target. Her talent, seven layers, Damn. one arrow, increases the damage dealt by her basic attack and increases the toughness reducing damage of the current attack. This effect can be triggered again after a set number of turns. Okay. Consume a skill point to use Yukong's skill, Emboldening Salvo, which grants Yukong a set number of stacks of Roaring Bowstrings up to a set limit. Okay. When Roaring Bowstrings is active, the attack of all allies increases. Yukong loses one stack of roaring oh, bowstrings yeah, I see with every allied turn. The one on the left Yukong is like will not lose left, roaring bowstrings right on the turn she, she uses her skill. Can you see the difference? During exploration, using Yukong's technique, chasing the wind mm -hmm. increases her movement speed. At the start of the next battle, she obtains two stacks of roaring bowstrings. Oh, when Yukong okay. uses her ultimate diving kestrel, a cloud kite is ready for takeoff. If roaring bowstrings well, is active, you, you Yukong show, will increase the critical have, rate and critical them, damage like, of all allies and to... deal imaginary damage to a single enemy. Do you Yukong have to show claims nice to throw in the towel long ago with no plans of making a return to the skies of her dreams. Nevertheless, in times of crisis, her hidden uh -oh. skill set comes Not to the fore. Two allies launch separate attacks on the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, Shapeshifter, mm -hmm. but with little success. It's at this moment that Yukong uses her skill, increasing the attack of all allies. Under the effects of roaring bowstrings, the damage dealt by allies is also increased. Yukong uses her skill again, followed by her ultimate, 
dealing enemy damage while also enhancing the effect oh, of roaring bow streams, uh, which increases the critical the rate control. and critical damage of all allies. <laughs> In the face of increasingly damaging attacks, no enemy can last forever. Yukong was Good born night. as one who truly belongs to the stars. Mm -hmm. But her wings were broken in the wake of a tragic war. Oof. From that point on, she has never spoken of returning to the sky. The years may have quelled the flames, but the desire to return to that sky never died. Perhaps one day, we might see a familiar silhouette take flight once again. Cool. Well, that's a cool video. And I must say... Damn, she's sexy AF. <laughs> oh gosh, oh my god. Damn, she's sexy AF. I, I kind of want her to be very honest. But then again, right, new 4-star characters that will be released in the future, right, I hope they will be added into the, um, the standard banner or some sort. Just like how Genshin does it. Because at first I thought, because I remember back when Rosaria was released, right, I was expecting her to be a, a limited 4-star character or some sort, but no, I was wrong. Turns out in, in the next um in the next update, she was available in the standard banner. So yeah, I kinda wasted uh, my resources over there but just to get a C0 um Rosaria. At the moment I like, she was um uh, in the Tataglia rerun banner if I am not mistaken. So I hope that the I hope that Yuko will be available in the standard banner because I kinda want her to be very honest. And yes as a matter of fact I do know that she will be free to obtain in the in the next update uh which is 1.2 and that's where um Kafka and Blade will be available. So yeah, um, I will definitely be getting a new phone in the next update for sure. And to top it off, right, I will be pulling for Kafka once she's available in um, 1.2. So do look forward to that. And I think that's pretty much my reaction to um, Rocha and Yukong's um, Keeping Up with Star Rail. And I will definitely be looking forward to um, Blade and Kafka's um, Keeping Up with Star Rail. I'm pretty sure there's one more character that will, that will be released in 1.2 as well. I forgot the name is. But regardless, I will be definitely looking forward to all of their trailers and these characters.